I feel really disproportionate in this camera angle. Like I feel like I'm not even needed not that big or like not that small. Wait, what? I look too big or too small or something. Like I guess. Uh, I don't know. I hope I just made you all young. Just <laughs> I don't know. Okay, should we start off the, the uh, bee's knees? I think we should. Alright. Don't you zoom in, boy! Two bee's knees. You're making me pick a parent? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not answering your question. My parents watch this channel, they're gonna kill me. One of them's gonna disown me. Oh wait, cheers. Oh yes. Gatorade is not a sponsor, unfortunately. I'm open to that though, however. I think everyone is open mm -hmm. to that. Probably. Family Church is not a sponsor either, though, but I'm also open to that. That would be pretty sick. Yeah, this a uh, cigar for I don't know, it's like some like, paper rolling company, I don't know, for smoking of some sort. Yeah. I'm sponsored by Jimi Hendrix, so... Are you? Yep. Wow. He pays my bills. It's intense. <laughs> the bills that don't exist. Does he pay your dentist bills? Mm, no. Yeah? Who does that? Mm, one of my parents. <laughs> Both of them? I'm not sure how that works. Uh, I don't know. Do they share the money? I think they share the money. They decide, okay, you pay his bill, these bills, and I'll pay these bills for him. Gotcha. That's how that works. Cool. Good to know for the future. I don't know. I was just saying. <laughs> it sounds valid. Yeah. We're going with it. <laughs> Alright. Am I supposed to answer the question too? Yeah. Okay. My favorite person would have to be Victoria. She's awesome. I thought you were going to say Jesus. Well, I said besides God. Well, right, but Jesus is God, but in yeah. Him. Yeah. But I also say who we've met. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright. Never met God. Valid in answer. In Jesus' form. You've never met God? In Jesus' form. In human True. form. True. True. That would be pretty cool. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> We're just going to call this episode the, the episode of truth, the truthful episode. Ooh. The truth yeah. comes out. Sarah's actually. We have our other question. If you were a farmer and you could grow three crop crops, what would they be? 
Do they have to be legal crops? <laughs> no. I think I'll grow weed, marijuana, and pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. I don't know. For some reason, bananas popped into my head. So bananas. That's not grow. an actual crop, is it? Well, you can you can grow like banana, banana trees, right? Like a vineyard yeah. type thing, or like yeah, a vineyard grove. Uh, I guess. Does that count? It's a banana grove. Yeah, that sounds right. Not a banana vineyard, or no, it's not a vineyard. I'm stupid. It's a grove, I think. It sounds yeah. like a grove. Like an apple tree grove. Right, like peach tree grove. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Okay. So, you, what would you act? What would you legally grow? <laughs> Bananas. Um. Wait, are you talking about like vegetables or like just any crop? Any crop of any sort. I'm gonna go with. Um, bananas, apples. Because apples are cool. Tea, some sort of tea. That'd be kind of cool. Just be like, ha, tea. I would throw it in a pot and boil it up. <laughs> tea for supper? I'm an Englishman. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I, I would do the same with the bananas, but I would also grow cocoa, beans, and oranges. Interesting. Yeah. That'd be an awesome thing. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so do you want me to pray over you? No. Don't touch me. <laughs> I can do. If you were a tree, would you want kids to climb on you? Of course. What? Yeah, I'd want kids to live in my branches. Man. I'm sorry that's a weird thing to say. Yeah. I, <laughs> I wouldn't want kids all over me. You wouldn't want kids climbing on your, on your ranches and like freaking carving their initials in you? No, that would hurt. You're a tree. Would it hurt though? You didn't just, you didn't say that you have feelings. But you were a tree. Yeah. So you were Do you like have a nervous less, system? Do you like feel pain right as a tree? Yeah. If we were a tree, we would, because we have a nervous system right now. I would just take it like getting a tattoo. <laughs> you get a lot of tattoos. Maybe. You'd pretty be pretty carved out. <laughs> okay, I tell them to use hammocks and not nails and tree houses and stuff. So I would get constantly poked. You wouldn't have piercings? <laughs> <laughs> but... I, w I wouldn't want that. You wouldn't? You're gonna be a grouchy old, grumpy old tree. <laughs> okay. I bet we're gonna be neighbors. We will, but you get all the kids. <laughs> okay. I'll grow tall enough so no one can reach my branches. <laughs> good idea. That's a good strategy. Until they nail boards into me. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. If you could bring three things onto an island, okay, where a deserted island, what would they be? Uh, well, like, how long are you going to be on the island? Forever. Forever? Forever. I don't know. Forever, so we're immortal? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, if we're immortal, then we don't need food or water. No, it's things. Okay. Not only, only things, not people or dogs or... So we don't need food or water. We, just we do need food, food and water. But we're immortal. No. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're putting too much thought in this. <laughs> Sorry, I just had my phone. Okay. Um, a pan or a pot? One. Wait, which one? Either one. Probably a big pot. <laughs> big pot. <laughs> and um, let's see. A small machete. Small machete. A uh, fire starter. Fire starter. Hmm. I, I didn't have time to think through this that much. Yeah. Hmm. So you're going out there to survive? Yep. I guess. <laughs> if we're not immortal. Uh, what about you? 
I bring chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Okay. A bed, like a giant king size bed. Giant king size bed. How about the California king? Just so you can, you know, live up your few nights in night in heaven. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. The biggest bed ever. The biggest. Whoa. That's cool. It's a big bed. <laughs> it's a big bed. <laughs> and I would bring a TV, a giant flat screen TV. You gonna bring an Xbox with that? Does an Xbox yeah. come with the TV, or are you just gonna look at the TV? No. Yeah, I would get internet. Oh, okay. In there. Cool. With my big bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The big bed has like an internet projector and a Whoa. Wi-Fi thing. It's got an Xbox on there too. <laughs> That's cool. I want that bed. But oh well. I'm gonna have fun on the island, run around naked, <laughs> naked, but naked, just climbing on trees, yelling at random objects, calling volleyballs names. You didn't bring like a volleyball. Well, so. a volleyball is gonna wash up on shore. Uh, uh, yeah. Alright. If you had to pick between basketball and golf to play with a girlfriend, which one would you pick? I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> but if you did. If I had a girlfriend, volleyball or what? Basketball or golf. Volleyball, basketball or golf? No, but no volleyball. Oh, oh, oh. No basketball or golf. Yeah. I hate both those sports. <laughs> you guys can kill me if you want. They're both definitely not our fortes. No. Basketball or golf? Is that what do we do? Mini golf. Or well, golf, mini golf. It's definitely mini golf. Definitely mini golf. Yeah. Yeah, I'd pick the same. So, because basketball, you're kind of just like playing against each other. I just hate basketball. And it becomes I'm stuck a at it. it becomes a competition True. with me, anyways. But with golf, you can put your arms around her and help her. <laughs> you can. Yeah. Good point. Smooth thinking. <laughs> this guy thinks smoothly. <laughs> like peanut butter smooth. <laughs> Crunchy or smooth? Nope, smooth. Just smooth? Smooth. Smooth like peanut butter? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Free range chickens. <laughs> We're really, I'm really tired. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> what would you want to be on your tombstone? Like, what would... You want to be written. Hmm. Hmm. This person did stuff. This person did stuff? Mm hmm. What about you? I'm a great man. <laughs> <laughs> Just quotes, I'm a great man. Yep. Sounds good. Or not even a great man, just a great tombstone. I am a great tombstone. <laughs> what? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny though. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. That's gonna be in my life. a dead man. <laughs> not even gonna tell you who his name was. I am a great tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy because once a, a, a tombstone has that on it, it's automatically a great tombstone. Mm -hmm. Which famous person do you want to meet? Can they be dead? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, by famous, they are on TV and they make money. Okay, so they had to have been on television one time. So they can be like in sports, they can be in like movies, they can be in like... They can be celebrities, me, just me. Okay. Um... So you can, like, pick Ty from Dude Perfect. Or... Or... James Rohde from Psych. Or... James Rohde? James Rohde. Uh, is that Gus or Sean? It's Sean. Uh, I guess I'd say Jack White. Because he seems like a cool dude. He's the lead singer of the Oh. Yeah, he does. And he's in other stuff. He's in other stuff? Mm-hmm. He was in the Reconnaissance Tours before that. I don't know what that is. 
It's another band. Uh, now he's in another band called The Dead Weather. And he's also doing solo stuff. Interesting dude. Oh, sounds like it. What is this? It's like a triangle of hair. There's like it's like a mohawk of leg hair. It's beautiful. Anyways, I picked Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. He was in our first episode. We talked about him in our first yeah, episode. Yeah, we did. I remember because I edited in a picture and I was like, this dude looks really happy. Mm-hmm. It'd be cool. Yeah, I would. He's a fun dude, probably. <laughs> what would you do for a Mountain Dew? Hmm. I think I would steal one from a baby. That would, that's what you'd do for Mountain Dew? Well, it's one thing I'd do for Mountain Dew, because a baby shouldn't be drinking Mountain Dew. That's going to get freaking stunt its growth. True. So I'm actually doing you a favor. Mm -hmm. Bad parents, give, don't give your... Don't give your babies Mountain Dew. <laughs> Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're doing them a favor mm -hmm. by asking them. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to say thank you. Thank you for listening to me. We should be saying thank you to you. Thank you for not feeding your child Mountain Dew or your baby Mountain Dew. True. <laughs> I would do nothing. You do nothing? And Mountain I'm Dew? quitting Mountain Dew, remember? You're quitting Mountain Dew. Yeah. I still don't know how long it's going to last. Forever. Forever? Forever. Never gonna, never gonna have a little sip. Okay, when I'm in Missouri, I'll have Mountain Dew. When you're in Missouri, I'll have a little sip of Mountain Dew. Not just a little sip. But then you're after gonna go. You're gonna have to go to cold turkey again once you get back. Cold turkey. Yeah. What's that? It's where you don't have anything to feed off your addiction. So like, people on drugs. I don't have an addiction. <laughs> I don't get like caffeine headaches from. Not having Mountain Dew. Really? No. My mom does. If I stop, I can. From just, coffee. If I can, if I stop, I can. I just stop. It doesn't affect me. That's good. Yeah. That's I know. Why I can take marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I know, dude. That uh, drank a Dr. Pepper's every day, and he, had, he like decided to stop, and it was like super hard. <laughs> Yeah. Because uh, you know, Dr. Pepper's amazing. I start. I stopped drinking Mountain Dew when I moved here. So. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Oh, moved here. To the, oh, yeah. Moved here. This is a new location. Yeah. This is Sam slash Noah's new apartment. This well, is my new room. Yeah, new room. This one. Family's new apartment. Yeah. Oh, this is welcome to our... Is there, oh, 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 oh. I'm just seeing the lines on the camera. I thought there was... Oh, a, yeah, the grid lines. Yeah. So you can see if I'm in um, the right place at the right time. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I'm way too tired to be doing it. If, so if you were on a long much. trip and stop at a gas station for a snack, which three snacks? Only snacks, not drinks. Not are drinks. Tasty. Ooh, can we do drinks after this? Yeah, we can do drinks. Okay, snacks. All right. Um, I'm gonna go with the. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this is a good question. I like this question. Can I get a Slurpee? No. No. Drink. All right. Um. Slim Jim, the really big one. Slim, Slim Jims. Whoa, wait, no, actually, can I cancel that? Yeah. Beef jerky, the big, beef jerky. big old bag. Big beef old jerky. Beef jerky. <laughs> beef jerky. <laughs> beef jerky. Um, no, I'm tired too. Yeah. So. Um, probably Cool Ranch Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos. Because I don't care about my health. <laughs> and um, let's see what else. What else is all gas stations that are really good to eat? Ooh, I'd go with the um, nachos that they usually sell at gas stations. Or like nachos with, with are chili on driving now. 
Well, I'm not going to be driving. I don't have my license yet. True, true. I'm going to make my dad drive while I eat my nachos in front of him. True. But it's still messy in a car. True, it is. Yeah. True. Um, <laughs> the true. truth episode. Uh, I would probably... Oh, wow. Oh, I get this. <laughs> do it, do it. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> It's going to break your back. What if you died by breaking your own back? <laughs> I've like, done that once. Okay. Um, I would pick a giant bag of Sour Patch Kids. Ooh. Giant bag of Skittles. Right. And Sour Patch Kids, that's going to give me a stomach ache. But I'm not like you. I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want, however much I want. You can eat a, a whole bag of Sour Patch and a whole bag of Skittles, and your stomach is completely fine. Yeah, <laughs> because my body's so used to it, and it is terrifying. And then I would pick honey buns. Ooh. <laughs> yes, honey buns. They're wonderful. They're good for the soul. They are. Yes, they are. Yeah. Okay. Now, which three drinks are you taking? Dr. Pepper. Of course. Peace tea. Peace tea? Yeah. Sounds so tree huggerish. <laughs> and the slushy slurpy thing. Slushy slurpy thing. Slushy slurpy. Slushy slurpy. slurpy. Um, I don't know. They have the Coke flavor Peter. sometimes. That's pretty good. Then I like. I really like the raspberry flavor. It's really good. Or cherry, I forget which one it is, but it's got a nice, nice bite to it. Tangy, zing. That's probably cherry, because I've had raspberry from multiple different places, and I don't like it. It's really flat. Mm. So there's a three? Yep. Alright. I would pick Gatorade. Gatorade. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. And... Hmm. Orange juice. You like orange juice that much? Yeah, orange juice is bomb. It is pretty good. Do you like the pulp or no pulp? No pulp, no pulp. <laughs> <laughs> no, Johnny. Not the slow way. It's a disgusting pulp. Yeah, alright. You used to hate pulp. We have two more questions. Fiction. Sorry. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, what is your favorite type of Gatorade and what is your least favorite? Um, I don't know, I think probably the Strata Lemonade is probably my favorite hmm. Gatorade, I think. I haven't tried that many of the Gatorades. Really? Hmm. Yeah. What's your least favorite then? Least favorite is like this mango, I think it was mango, I hated that. Mango. Oh, mango. It's disgusting. <laughs> what about you? My favorite is fruit punch. My least favorite is any light flavored Gatorade. Oh, they suck. Yellow, orange. Yeah, and there's like light blues. They're disgusting, like that glacier stuff. I don't even remember what it's called. What about the strawberry lemonade? That's the only one that I do like. That's like, that's true. But yeah, I don't like the light flavors. They taste like watered down butt. <laughs> watered down butt. Wonder what that would taste like. I don't know, I've never had it. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Um, right. Is a a dog's a dog's male descendant called a son of the dog, or just a male pup? Because you know they say like you son of, which is like a female dog. <laughs> So it was a, it was like, of a female dog. Yeah, so it was like that, like... Is there a term for it? Like, for instance, calf for uh, a cow's yeah, descendant. They have a puppy. But is a dog's male descendant called a son? I don't know. Like, you are the son of your father. I am. I'm also the son of my mother, too. Yes. Yeah. Because you are male. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, you are a son. True. So, is that the same way with dogs? 
I don't know. You tell us, maybe, in the comments. I don't know. Unless you have a definitive answer. I would say yes. They're probably considered sons. Okay. They're sons of the male do of the dogs. There's daughters, too. I don't know. We're going to have to wrap this up pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah, probably now. And right. we ran out of questions. So. Nice, right on time. Yeah, we did perfect. Well, see you later, guys. Yeah. It was a good talk. It was a good chat. Mm -hmm. Very good chat.